is it good morning Salute. I don't know what's going on uh, maybe I should talk proper for uh, I don't even know his name but anyway what's going on people it's your boy King Drodge um, we're here in New Orleans uh, I know in my previous video got locked my doors I talked all that trash about I ain't taking no load under a thousand miles. I want to go to Colorado, Texas, or Florida. Well, that 34 hour reset that I took was for nothing. Um, well, I got my hours back, but I thought I was going to take a long load, which I didn't. They gave me a 760 mile load to Ohio and then pre planned me from Ohio to New Orleans where I'm at now. So, whatever it is, what it is. Um, it's Sunday and what's that? Um, nine, seven, so it's about 16. Almost, it's about 17 because, you know, with the little bit of miles in between. But uh, about 1,700 miles. Huh. So I got till Tuesday to get, make some miles. So I am going to beg for a at least 1,000 mile load that delivers on Tuesday. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I just need to get to 2,500. Well, if I get a thousand, that's twenty seven hundred. So, when people ask me, do I average twenty eight hundred miles? Yes, because the last three weeks it was what I had twenty seven the first week, I think twenty six or twenty seven. Last week was thirty four. This week will be hopefully twenty seven. Could squeeze in 20, 29, 30, uh, 3,000 if they give me some good miles, but we'll see. Um, so, I miles are good. Um, but let's talk about how Steve has tried to get me though. So, when I got this load here, they was uh, they called me and said, Hey, we need to repower and uh, to help this guy get his load there on time we'll pay you a hundred dollars oh okay really well how many miles is it oh man let me see um oh it's like 500 something hmm 500 something miles but i'm on a 900 mile load now and when is it delivered tomorrow morning at five o'clock this is when i picked up the load so i was like okay 500 miles all right i'll go ahead and take it because i was like i know i got hours so i can take it so then I'm like, wait a minute, let me check. Oh, I only got 900 miles. I mean, nine hours. My truck is only governed at 62. And by the time I get to him, I'm only going to have eight hours. And you told me it's 500 miles. I ain't going to be able to make that. So the dude that I'm repowering with calls me and says, hey, man, yeah, man, I'm going to meet you here. And I'm like, man, I ain't got the hours for that, man. I ain't going to be able to take it. He said, oh, okay, let me, well, let me call him. I'll call you right back. He calls me back. Hey, man, they're not really uh, worried about my load making on time. They worry about your late load making on time. Oh, okay. But they said that your load was running late. And then come to find out he's a trainer. Hmm. So you got two people to drive. Got that. Oh, yeah, my APU is gone. Uh, APU is shot. And, um. We're gonna have to get that fixed tomorrow. Uh, so I gotta run my truck. And um, what the hell? Is that? Oh, I turned it off. Run my truck until I get it fixed. Uh, I was gonna stay in a hotel last night, but uh, it wasn't that hot. So I ran the truck, cooled it off, and I ain't had no problems. So it was all good. I don't know what he doing. But anyway, so. Yeah, we gotta get that fixed. APU got to be fixed. Um, what was I 
was I talking about? Oh yeah, so he tried to get me. So he calls me back saying, you know, they don't they worry about your load. Mind you, when I picked my load up, I was a day early. The load wasn't pick, supposed to pick up till tomorrow at four o'clock p.m. I picked it up today, which is at that time, at four o'clock p.m. So I'm already a day ahead. It's hot. I gotta turn this shit back on. It's 91 degrees outside. <laughs> gotta turn. Last night in New Orleans, last night it was like 75. And when I turned the truck on, let it run for a little bit, cool it off, I was good. But anyway, so he a trainer, and I'm like, something just not adding up, bro. Your DM, or my actually was my DM, said that you was running late. Now you saying they trying to make sure that my load ain't running late. Even though I am on a high value load, yes. But I was going to be hurt. He was like, yeah, man, I think it's because, um, you know, when you stop, you got to stop for 10 hours and I got to stop for 8 hours because I'm a trainer. And I'm thinking to myself, 8, 10, it's only 2 hours. What, the, like, that makes absolutely no sense. So, I say, you know what, alright, bro, don't worry about it. I'll meet you there. <laughs> so, I called uh, dispatch to try to get some clarity. And they try to act like they know what was going on. So I said, okay, don't worry about it, man. Hey, look, let me go ahead and deny the repower, refuse the, the repower, and I'm going to just keep going. Uh, okay. Um, are you going to be able to get there on time? Bruh, it's Friday. It's 900 miles, and it's not due till Sunday at 4 p.m. You answer the question. So, hung up the phone, kept going. Two hours later, I get a phone call from dispatch. Hey, um, the repower that you're mess uh, meeting is going to be at exit 79. Bro, it's been two. I hope they ain't been waiting there for two hours. I'm like, no, I called in and said I refused the repower. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see that right there. You know, he, ch -ch 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 -ch. oh, I can see that. No one said anything. That ain't got nothing to do with me, bro. That ain't got nothing to do with me. So, they tried to get me, but they didn't because I remember when I first started, I had a 1600 mile load and I repowered to a 700 mile load. Never again. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. So, with all that being said, I feel like Stevens said, Oh, so you gonna refuse this repower, huh? Don't worry about it. So they got another computer and they sent a signal to my truck and made my APU go out. Oh, what the? Come on, Stevens. Why would you do that to me? I got the load here on time. We ain't got no problems. Why would you do that to me? I'm your boy, man. Why would you do that to me? So, dude looking at me crazy like, what the hell is this mother? I'm doing a video, bro. Hey. Anyway, clearly he wasn't looking at me when I did that. You have to be trying. I'm hardcore, bro. Like, whatever. Anyway, so, the court clearly, Stevens didn't do that, right? Stevens don't have the power to send a signal to my truck to make my APU turn off, dude. Somebody let me know. I, you know, I only been in the game for six months, seven months, five months, four months. Yeah, I don't know. So hopefully that's not true. So, yeah. Now, I guess that's gonna be another video. Yeah, cause this video is kinda long. But uh, I just wanna tell y'all about my update. Um, I'm about to call Stevens because it looks like it's gonna be a while for they to unload this junk. This is a, uh, I think it's either Bed Bath and Beyond or Bath and Body Works, and uh, it ain't on pallets. It's like individual small boxes just stacked up. Oh, bruh! And I'm looking at it's no, uh, it was no load locks in there because when I got it, it was sealed up, and I'm just looking like bruh. I'm so lucky or happy that that shit didn't fall. I mean, it's just individual boxes stacked up with no load locks. No, nothing to hold that shit. Oh my gosh. But anyway, uh, I might do another video about creating opportunities for yourself in trucking, okay? Uh, if you ain't about that life, get out of the truck, all right? Over and out.